Hello guys and welcome to today's video. It's a commonly asked question and it's how do I go about getting my first gig? My first gig came at a place in Manchester called the Deaf Institute. I played a lot set in the bar. It was around nine years ago now, I believe. And it was off the back of seeing a Facebook status. Some guy said, it's an opportunity to be playing at this night on said date. I dropped him a DM, well, an inbox on Facebook and I got a gig. It did involve some ticket selling, which was kind of the thing back then when paper tickets were still a thing. You'd go and pick the paper tickets up, bring a few friends down and you got a little slot. Unfortunately, the event was actually two rooms, like a main room and a bar room. I played in the bar room and as you can imagine, there was like five people there, but this really ignited the fire inside of me to then pursue what is now my career. So these little gigs at the start really paved the way for everything that's in front of you. And if I'm honest, they are just as sweet as getting the big gigs. And I've spoken to this before that some of them smaller gigs are really the ones that stay with you forever and they're amazing. So today's video, we're going to break it down into four parts. It's attend, meet, communicate, and build. I'm going to talk you through these, won't take long, and just give you a bit of a structure in how you could go about trying to get your first gig. And the first one is attend. You've got to be attending raves. If you don't attend raves, I would probably question how interested you are in the music. I do get it. It costs a lot of money to attend, but unfortunately, this is just a barrier to meeting people and you're gonna have to do either budget it or be tactical with what you do. I'd go to some big, some small, but attending raves, honestly, those follow people on the dance floor are going to be the next generation of ravers, DJs, promoters. I met my business partners, Pied and Seek and you and me in Sankey's about nine years ago now, eight or nine years ago. So literally, the guys you're gonna meet there are gonna be the ones who come to the top with you. And the next thing is meet. Once we are attending raves, we then need to meet the people in there. I would say statistically, the more people you meet in the rave, the higher the chances are you're gonna meet someone who can then repay a favor or give you an opportunity to then get a gig. And this leads us on nicely to the communicate part and it's communicating with those in the rave once you've met them and it's thinking about how we could do it there at the moment and then also follow it up. So we need to think about how can we talk to them, what the common interests and I would just say be pleasant and professional. Be considerate that say there's a promoter at the rave, you're like, ah, oh, I need to go and speak to him but if he's in the middle of talking to a DJ and stuff like that, pick the right moment. The smaller parties you go to, the more chance you're gonna be able to meet and communicate. But then also, if you go to the bigger parties, you never know what might pop up. But just use common sense, be polite, be pleasant, and I can't really see there being any negative repercussions. And the important part is to always follow it up. And this leads us to the build point, build relationships. So once you have gone attended, you have met, you've communicated, it's then about building the relationships. People aren't just gonna say, hi mate, nice to meet you, here's a gig. However, if you build a relationship with this promoter or DJ or just another raver, you can message them afterwards on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and you can begin to build this relationship and then when an opportunity arises, they may come to you. And another part of the building process is building your profile alongside doing all this. If they go onto your Instagram after the rave, do they know you're a DJ? Does it look like it? Have you got mixes displayed? Have you got your latest production displayed? It's important to build this profile along with doing everything else. But please, please, please do not underestimate the power of meeting people face to face. There may be people watching this thinking, oh, can't I just do this online? But look how many people are now trying to be a DJ. Nothing will ever beat going somewhere and meeting someone face to face, getting the contact and following up. Always be mindful not to spam people, but this is common sense. And be wary that the type of person who may be a promoter, may be very busy, a lot of pressure on them. So don't expect instant replies. And always try and add some kind of value. So when you're open conversation with them, maybe send them one new production or a nice little mix or just a compliment of the party or where you've met them. Hopefully this makes sense, but I would strongly recommend getting out there, being consistent and being patient whilst also being pleasant and professional, 
and then work on build these relationships over a long period of time. And I can guarantee something good will come. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. This has been quite a short in and out job, but I'm hoping it makes sense. And this is literally the advice I give to people. Just go out, meet, talk, connect, build, you know, all that jazz. Anything else you want me to answer, any questions, pop them below. And in the meantime, thank you for watching.